Hey guys, it's me Tony here at Tiger Plays, and I thought I'd talk about Call of Duty, uh, the franchise, and my opinions on it for my first commentary on this channel, since it's primarily the only game I play right now. I will discuss and go over Call of Duty, every Call of Duty I own, so let's dive right into it. Uh, keep in mind that everything that comes out of my mouth relates to multiplayer and multiplayer only. This is mainly due to the fact now that I unfortunately only buy Call of Duty because of the multiplayer gameplay. First game on our list is Call of Duty 4. Now, I didn't play this game as much as I did with Call of Duty 6 or Modern Warfare 2, but I played it enough to know that it's a pretty, pretty solid game. Now, it may not be as balanced when you compare it to other games, but keep in mind that when this game came out, it sold only uh, around 10 million copies, full of mostly adults, and they didn't whine or complain about crap such as Juggernaut, for example. Some of the things I like about this game is the unique night vision goggles, which really help uh, with rainy maps and custom game modes. And, oh, and the custom game modes, I mean. To add in, guns are also fairly balanced and maps remain out nicely. What I don't like about Call of Duty 4 is Juggernaut and stopping power, uh, like I somewhat mentioned before. Luckily, both of these perks are in the same categories, uh, which is perk 2, so you can't be a god with tons of health, two hitting people left and right. I'm not a big fan of the smallest map of the game, Shipment, either, where you're guaranteed to be spawn killed more than two times a game. Aside from all the negativity, according to a long time, Hardcore COD players, they love this game as uh, one of the best, and I can agree with them fully. Moving right along, World at War, Treyarch's first title and view into the Call of Duty franchise. I've played this game before, but I sold it shortly after because I needed the money. So unfortunately for this video, I'm skipping this title, but it's still a good game though. Finally, my personal favorite and my first, Modern Warfare 2, the sequel to the loved Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Don't hate, but when I was 9, I first played this on my brother's PS3, it was meant to be. I'm talking a full-blown addiction on weekends and when my brother would be out working. I've been playing Call of Duty my whole childhood, almost 5 years from today, and this was by far my best gaming experience. As you get older, you forget more and more about your youth years, but this will forever stay remembered. Night Vision was removed. Unfortunately, and uh, Juggernaut was no more. Staff power remains, and death streaks make their first appearance. Painkiller, how could we forget you? After five consecutive deaths, you're rewarded with double the health. The brother or sister of a hit marker with a sniper. Staff and power returns, as I said before, but this has been uh, highly nerfed. Most guns are balanced, with the exception of the Scar H and the ACR, in my opinion, both of which I used heavily back then. The maps are decent, I can deal with them, and the perks, are, aside from last stand, are perfect. If you have no idea what Last Stand is, it's a perk that gives you second. It gives you it gives you a second chance to live to kill the person who originally killed you. If you end up surviving, you have the chance of your teammates reviving and bringing you back to full posture. Oh boy, was that annoying! Although they only take one bullet to kill, in a, in those couple of seconds, they have timed and people clip on their pistol uh, for revenge. Once again, still my number one favorite Call of Duty, mainly because of the nostalgia, but. Some may disagree. Let's give it a hand for Infinity Ward. They deserve it. If Modern Warfare 2 isn't for you, consider giving Treyarch a chance with their second game debut and the series, Introducing Black Ops. Campaign and multiplayer has taken place in the 60s during the Cold War. Just a typical old Call of Duty with some modifications, Treyarch made a decision to change and flip things up by replacing XP unlocks with COD points you earn every game. You typically earn 2,000 every match of TDM, so getting them is no difficulty. You use these points to purchase things such as attachments for your guns, camouflage, and guns in general. The maps are outstanding, something Treyarch never gets people down with. Guns in this game are balanced quite fairly, but not all is up to code. There are two little things about this game that drive me crazy. Both are listed under equipment in their motion sensors and camera spikes. If you're a hardcore camper, your dream has come true, but if you're a runner and gunner like me, these are your worst nightmares. According to sales and reviews, this game is a hit, and it still is, averaging 2K, 20K, sorry, 20K players online every day, and the game is four years old. It's Infinity War's turn again with one of Activision's biggest Call of Duty releases ever, Modern Warfare 3. 
All nationwide games off location prepared for the lion death for looking at the record smash and pre-orders of Modern Warfare 3, but was it worth all 26 million people's money? Nothing real special will put people without words when Modern Warfare 3 was released other than uh, new maps, guns, and few DLC packs. As expected, the community was disappointed, but people still played as they waited for next year's installment of Call of Duty. Although people were let down about Modern Warfare 3, to me, there's nothing better than coming home from a long day of school, popping your feet down on the footrest, and turning on the PS3 to play Modern Warfare 3. Why do I say this? Because I did this almost every day back in 6th grade, and it was worth every second. You think about 10 games in the franchise, Activision will put an end to Call of Duty, but it isn't going anywhere with 35 million total sales throughout all titles. So once again, here comes another in the year 2012, my 7th grade year. And of course, your boy bought it and waited in line at the midnight release at my local GameStop. What really is new and different about this COD? To begin with, cop points are gone, XP is back, and a new creative class system is introduced. Pick 10. Take your favorite gun, secondary, perks, lethals, uh, sorry, lethal, and tactical with each item marked in one point. So with the system, you're able to have three attachments, for example, on your gun, but no secondary to make up for that, so you remain within 10 points. If you want my personal opinion on this game, I hated it at first, but but then I gave it a couple months and I was hooked. Perks, guns, kill streaks, and everything is on point. It's like Treyarch knows this. I feel like they never let us down with anything and make for Steam games. Infinity Ward is back no more than a year later with not Modern Warfare 4, maybe this year, but Ghost is revealed. Once again, nothing mind blowing, just a slight modification to the game engine, new maps, guns, and more. You get the gist of it. Regarding all that, it's still a well looked game. It got good reviews from critics and such, but it's not for me. Is Call of Duty dying? Disappointing with sales Activision got from Ghost, it was still a top selling game in 2013, but it didn't sit right with Activision's head department. As a result, Activision gave full control of an next year's title known as Advanced War Warfare to Sledgehammer Games, co-producer of Modern Warfare 3. Let's just say that wasn't the greatest decision in the world. People lost interest in Call of Duty when they got their hands on Advanced Warfare, and I agree with them. Sledgehammer took a chance and introduced a new way of movement, which made players able to jump really high and slide side to side very quickly. This angered thousands of people, including me. With these movement changes, you can assume map layouts change, and they did. Wasn't a big fan of that either. There'd be times where I'd be shooting at someone, and somehow they're all the way across the other side of the map. Sledgehammer really fucked up on gun balancing too. When I watch the final with cams, if I'm expecting on someone, I see people either using the ASM1 or BAL, BAL27, sorry, and that's it. The only thing good about this game, in my opinion, is the setting that changes blood, yellow paint. Like, seriously, what's not fun about shooting someone and seeing yellow paint pouring out of them? Anyways, you tried Sledgehammer, but failed so hard. Making a comeback three years later, here comes Treyarch with Black Ops 3, the latest game in the Activision Mega franchise, Call of Duty. Tagging along somewhat from Events Warfare, there's yet another movement system in Black Ops 3 called Thrust Jumps. To put it in perspective, in, in Advance Warfare, sorry about that, you were able to jump four story buildings, sometimes all the way up to rooftops, but with Black Ops 3, it's like this, but you're only able to jump barely two story buildings. So, no, it's not like Advance Warfare where you're flying all over the place. You can't slide side to side either, so that's a big reliever. Another thing you're able to do is um, walk on walls. Yes, you heard me right. You can walk on walls and you can shoot whilst doing this. This makes getting from one side of the map to another that much easier. Another cool feature Treyarch added in the game is specialists. Specialists are basically characters in the game with uh, power ups or special abilities, uh, quote unquote. Typically, every single game you earn a specialist two times uh, if you have a perk that may um, increase. But I'm not really sure about that. Um, specialists include vision pulse, which enables you to see through walls for a short amount of time, identifying enemies, and glitch, which, when activated, warps you to your previous location to evade a fight. And these are just a few specialist abilities, there are so much more.
concluding this discussion, Call of Duty was good while it lasted. It feels like every COD release year by year get, just gets worse and worse. Sure, these games have their ups, but there's too many downs for my taste. The franchise is dying, and Activision needs to, re to realize that and give the series a break or end it all together. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know how I did with my first commentary and your favorite COD um, down below in the comments. Peace. Uh, I said I'm coming back, back. I'm coming back around. back around And you ain't going nowhere, so put your jacket down, down. They might take me away, but guess who's back in town, town. The count feeling graduated with no cap and gown I said I'm coming back